wanted to talk to you about what gear I bring out for a day hike and that's a bushcraft day hike. I usually bring a small bag, like something like this. This is a LL Bean Continental rucksack. It's uh, about 33 liters, I think. And you got three pockets on the outside, one on each side and this big. And you have a small padded one on top for keys or something like that. You have these straps which you can put a blanket or jacket on. And you have as well have something, you can put something on top as well. It's a padded backside with a small with a small hip belt, which helps if you carry a, a bit of a weight. It doesn't support give really support for long hiking, but it's it's good enough. On the side, I usually have a water bottle. This is a Nargeen half liter. On the outside, I normally have a first aid kit, which is not there at the moment. And on this side, I have some snacks, a bar, and stuff for the hike. And I have outside and put this loop in here so I could attach stuff and I normally bring my Grenzos Bruks outdoor axe on this side which is a good enough hatchet for what I do in the woods light but you get a lot of power because of the the quite long handle, which is which make it very versatile, because you can carve as well as well as split. This is uh, only camera stuff, extra batteries and excellence and stuff like that. This is for my tripod, which I currently use. I always bring an extra shirt. Something warmer. This comes from a company called Nora Outdoors, which makes really, really good clothes. And this is a fleece shirt with that's really, really warm uh, for the weight. Bring a water bottle um, or a water filter in this case it acts like a extra water bottle if you need to uh, you just fill this up with water put this back on and squeeze it out this is perfect you don't need to carry so much water when you have this with you you can go just go to a lake or a stream or something it's brilliant. I usually bring a tarp. This is a 1.7 by 2.9. So it's a bit smaller and I use some already made guidelines and stuff in here. This is very lightweight. It's a sturdy tarp but it's very lightweight which is great. A small uh, theater bag, you can call it. In here, I got oh, here's my first aid kit. In here, I bring uh, ferro rod, a 
small extra knife. I just got some mosquito protection. And a uh, sound blocker, notepad, and a pencil and small stuff like that. Of course, you've got to have some strong and good coffee. This one, the Recule Cafe, is perfect when for making cabo coffee, like we do here in Sweden or in Scandinavia. I have my wood cooks up. or Kosa, as it's supposed to be called. A spoon. And this is actually new to me. This is a Bakko Laplander saw. Uh, never had this before. I used to go with something but cheaper, but I wanted to invest in something that's That's a bit better. <coughs> and I have no doubt this is a good saw. My knife is as well new. This is a new Viking. And it's a very minimalistic knife, which as well is very wide, but small which can handle a lot. Don't need to bring the biggest knife when you have a hatchet and a saw, would you? I have something to sit on. This. Fermarest C seat. Which is very good to kneel on or sit on. bring something to cook with, of course. This is uh, just a normal billy can. Made in uh, stainless steel. Very sturdy. And I have it in this little protection which I just made myself. Just to protect the bag a bit. And I have a small uh, kettle. This one is as well in stainless steel. From comes from Eagle Products. You have seen this before, I think. I use it in many movies I made before. Uh, this is just the ultimate kettle, I think. Since it's stainless steel, it doesn't. Uh, it bended so it just makes it bomb proof. You can have it for a very long time, which I like. And I bring a little uh, collapsible twig stove. It should just Put together like this, and you have always something to make your food on or coffee. So that's the stuff I bring for a day hike or a bit longer overnight there as well. You just add a sleeping bag and a pad and food, of course. And it's a gear for all year round, which make this a perfect setup for me. Uh, you just bring extra food and warmer clothes and stuff like that. And thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you uh, in the next video. Thank you very much.